Hey, thanks, Blake. Well, we've had strong southerly winds across the Rio Grande Valley, and here's a closer look on how strong some of those winds got in certain areas. So in Brownsville, wind gusts reached up to 52 miles per hour, McAllen 43, and Anybrook 36 miles per hour. So pretty breezy overall, but aside from the winds, we've had really nice weather because temperatures are a little bit warmer today than yesterday. Right now, the current temperature in Brownsville is at 79, Harlingen 82, McAllen 84, and Rio Grande City 80 under partly cloudy skies. But how much warmer are we today than yesterday? Well, here, here's a closer look at that temperature change within the last 24 hours. Now, it's not a big change, but it's a change nonetheless. And those temperatures are going to continue to warm up as we head into Monday. So expect very hot conditions once again. And that's all thanks to our winds that are still going to be coming in from a southerly flow, bringing in that warm Gulf moisture. And that's exactly how we have been warming up today and will continue to warm up for tomorrow. How However, that's not going to last because of another cold front that's going to arrive on Monday, bringing in those cooler temperatures for all of us across the Rio Grande Valley. And it's also going to shift our winds into a northerly flow, uh, filtering in that slightly cooler and drier air behind that front. And expect winds to be a little bit calmer as we head into Monday. So today is pretty much the only day where those winds are going to be pretty strong. And aside from that cold front tomorrow, temperatures are still going to be pretty warm. Highs are going to be in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees once again. So the high for Brownsville tomorrow is going to be 89. Hollingen as well, McAllen 88, and Aroma as well under partly cloudy skies. So again, it is, it is going to take some time for that cooler and drier air to usher in once that cold front passes through. But we are going to see a little bit of a change. But remember, it is a weak cold front, so we're not going to see that big temperature drop as opposed to some of the other cold fronts that we've had here in the Rio Grande Valley. But here's a closer look. Remember, very warm warm conditions are expected for tomorrow and with calmer winds and then once that cold front passes through those temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler back into the low 80s for Tuesday and they'll stay that way for the next couple days into the work week. However, we are going to see that warm up once again as we head into the following weekend. Temperatures are going to be slightly above average. I'm talking about mid to upper 80s close to 90 degrees once again under partly cloudy skies.